Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very, very fun video planned. I've seen a few other YouTubers do this in the past, so I thought it would be so fun to do. And this is showing my favorite and least favorite K-pop album packaging of this year. This is solely based on album packaging, not the photos inside, not the photo books, not even the photos on the outside, simply the album packaging. I may talk about it a little bit, but that is not what formed my opinion. And these are only the albums that I currently have in my collection. But if similar albums do follow the same packaging or a similar packaging, I might mention them. So without further ado, let's get into my first favorite. And I'm going to start with a favorite and then a least favorite and alternate. My first favorite is Twice's More and More album. I really, really love the book style. I think it is super nice. It just looks super duper sleek. Um, I am a fan of book packaging with like a um not a soft cover packaging I guess um like I wasn't the biggest fan of Itzy's Not Shy album just because I don't know I felt like Icy's packaging was so much better but um this packaging I just think is super duper nice it's thick but it isn't too thick and it's not incredibly tall and it's you can just tell super duper high quality and yeah, that is why this one is one of my faves. So the next album that I'm going to show is for least favorite. And this one, oh my gosh, I do not like this packaging. This is Irene and Silgi's Monster Album. And I forget which one this version is, but I do not like this packaging. And once again, this is not about the pictures because obviously these pictures are absolutely stunning. But the packaging... And now, when I first got it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be so cool, but I don't like it at all. As you can see, when I open it, it's kind of just hard to, like, get it out without, like, bending it anywhere or, like, ripping anything. So, yeah, it, it my copy is a bit damaged, as you can see, just from having to open it, which is a little unfortunate. And then you take this out, which, in my opinion, kind of looks like a lunchbox or, like, a makeup box type situation I think it does look really sleek but um just unnecessary honestly um and then I will just take these out because I'm not going to be talking about the photo book pictures but you will see what I am talking about in one second okay my photo book in this version and in the other version is falling out I just started scrolling through it once just once and the pages started falling out and I was like what SM hello anyway that is the main reason why I absolutely don't like this packaging and if you're wondering why it was so difficult to like even come out of this box was because the pages are falling out I'm still trying to store it in this box um but yeah that is why I do not like this packaging by literally any means whatsoever Although, I think it does display nice. Um, it's compact. It's really sleek. But actual packaging itself is a no from me. The next album packaging is actually a very, very recent album. And that is Eyes One's One Realer Act 4 album. I love this album packaging. It is I love box style and I don't think this box is like huge. I think it just looks super nice, especially this version with the gold and everything like that. I like it a lot more than Wanaric Diary. I loved Wanaric Diary's packaging. The only thing I didn't like was that the like actual like cover of it was member specific. I thought that was cool, but you can't really trade those. And I like about the postcards that you can trade whichever member you want or whatever that type of situation. I also like that everything like comes out of the album um, and it's just super compact, super sleek, including I love, love, love the magnet. That is so nice. It just feels super duper expensive. Um, so yeah, that is why this one is, I honestly, this is probably my favorite album packaging of 2020. Ice One's packaging, I always pretty much love. Like, even when I were dry, I still love, love, love the packaging. This year, off the record, really stepped it up for Ice One's packaging, and I think they did amazing. So now on to another least favorite. We have Blackpink's The Album. Oh my gosh, I think it is absolutely stunning. It is not about the appearance of it at all. The holographic, especially this version, as you can see, it is just gorgeous. 
this album is so so big um it is so difficult to store um my black pink shelf is full <laughs> simply because of obviously i do have all black pink's albums but these albums took out took up probably about half the space like ridiculous i love the lenticular and everything if this album was just a little smaller i think it would honestly probably be one of my faves but simply because of the size of it why is it so big um that is why i would have to say that this definitely would go into my least favorite album packaging that makes me so sad um how you like that would probably also be in this category although i didn't include it just because only for the height of it it really doesn't take up too much room but anyway now on to another positive note with another favorite Similar to Twice's More and More album, I have to give it to YG for giving Treasure amazing, amazing packaging. You may be like, it's just a book. What is so amazing about it? I love how, obviously this one doesn't have one on it, but um, all the other spines of the albums form a diamond shape. And I just think that is super duper cool and creative. Um, I love, especially the these versions, they have this really nice, like, velvet texture that just, once again, feels really, really nice and expensive. Um, and yeah, they just look really great on a shelf. They might got a little damage from the place that I ordered from. Not the album packaging. Not the album spot at all. Um, and I just think it is super duper nice packaging. Like I said, it looks nice on a shelf, similar to Twice's albums, um, it is just super duper, like, not like stable. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it doesn't get like damaged easily um, compared to like boxes and stuff like that. So yeah, that is why this one is in my favorites. And now I will be moving on to the next album, which is a least favorite. This is Idol or G Idol, whatever you want to call them. I trust album. I do not stand Idol, um, although I loved I Trust. I thought this was such an amazing mini album. And I remember I was looking on K-Town for you and I was purchasing a few things. And the shipping was, it was the first time that I was purchasing from K-Town for you. So obviously the shipping was a bit of a shock for me. Um, so I was like, well, if I buy one more album, if I purchased all of them from a different site it would be less expensive if I purchased one more so I was just like looking to see which one and then I came across idols I trust album and I was like yes um so once again this album I think it also kind of looks pretty but the pictures on the inside are absolutely gorgeous but like are you kidding like no <laughs> anyway this like half slip cover situation I don't even know what you would call it it's it's not it for me um I don't like it I think I should have stuck to their old packaging. I thought their packaging for La Tata and Senorita, I thought those two album packaging, I forget what the album, the actual album names are called. I think those packaging were really, really nice. But recently, same with Dum Dee Dum Dee. I did not purchase that album. The packaging, a big no. Anyway, um, the photo book, really, really pretty. Um, this is kind of similar to Itzy style. If like, it was just this, um, obviously a little bit taller, but I don't like how it's all like separated. Like this like weird poster thing. Once again, absolutely gorgeous. I have Sujin's, absolutely stunning, but like why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I'm not really sure what, um, Cube's reasoning behind this packaging was. And then this, no. Mm -mm. They just threw the CD in here, which I'm just like, how are you just going to throw the CD in here? Luckily, I think it did come with a lot, like the poster and my photo cards aren't in here. But like, see where the CD is? Why is it just in here? Like, why? Anyway, I don't even feel like taking the time right now to put this back together on camera. Um, so I do it off camera later. But yeah, that is definitely a least favorite packaging for me and now I am actually going to do another least favorite because I want to end on a high note um so here is the infamous bag packaging this is the only album that I currently have that is bag packaging but other albums that follow the same like packaging that I literally hate the album packaging is 17's Hengare, Hengare album I'm not really sure um and then Idol's Dumpty Dumpty 
Luckily, I think this is definitely the nicest out of them. Like, the sticker comes off super duper easily. Like, I um, purchased a few of these albums and I didn't find it too difficult to peel off the out, peel off the sticker, not the album. Like I saw, especially on Seventeen's album, people were using like um, hair dryers, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I also don't really like. Um, it's not on this one, but a few of my other copies got like indented really easily just because of the inclusions. Um, so yeah, this one is a no for me. I think it does look super duper pretty, like the um, holographic and the pink on this version, just super duper pretty, but. Overall, yeah, it's another no for me. Now, this one, I feel like people put this a lot in their least favorite. And so far in my review, I feel like people would also think that I put this in my least favorite. But I don't know. Something about this album packaging, I just love it. <laughs> and here it is. This is Irene and Foggy's Monster, the other version. Um, and I love this packaging. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the spine just because it really doesn't have one, but just like the concept, I think it is so, so cool how it opens up to almost like these like mini poster idea situation. Um, I really like the setup of it. I think it's different, um, especially with the lyric book in the center, but not like so different as the other monster packaging. Like I think SM really wanted to do something out of the box for Irene and Silky subunit. Um, and I feel like this was perfect. I think it fits it, the, like, the concept of Monster so, so, so well. And, of course, the pictures are gorgeous. But, yeah, it really comes down to the packaging. It isn't too big. Um, my problem with a similar album, I say similar, like, in, like, packaging style, is Blackpink's How You Like That. I love the photos inside. I love how they are big and stuff like that. The only problem is they're huge, and I feel like this one is such a perfect size. Um, it is such a perfect size album, and it is so, so gorgeous. I love the pictures they use. I love the um, silver, like, lettering, and that is why this is definitely one of my favorites. Not to say that this is my absolute favorite, but out of the ones I have shown, those are definitely my four favorites and four least favorites. So that is actually everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will be having more collective hauls, or I actually haven't uploaded a collective haul yet. I should have a collective haul soon, a binder organization video soon, some more Eyes One, One Reeler album unboxing. So please look forward to that. And please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. And I hope you all have such an amazing day.